Hi, so you're ready to come in and do your first lightboard recording. Well, there's a few things you should take into consideration before you come into the studio. The first is that you should try to use our handy planning document that allows you to draw out all the content you want to put on the lightboard beforehand so you're sure there's enough space on the board. This document also has space for you to bullet point out all the content you wish to cover so it can help you think through your concepts and present them to students in the most logical way. The next is when you're planning, try to think of ways you can use multiple colors. This helps break up your content and it helps students follow along with what you're saying. The last thing to consider is how long you want your presentation to be. Most studies show that the ideal length of time for educational video is five to seven minutes. That can be difficult for certain people, so if you're having trouble shortening it, let us know and we'll help you chunk your content into more logical pieces. The last thing to consider before coming in is if you would like any graphics in your presentation. If you like graphics, send them to us ahead of time and we'll put them on a PowerPoint slide for you and you can control them with a normal presentation remote. Finally, when you're in studio, there's a few things that are a little bit uncommon that you'll need to take into consideration when recording. First is that you want to look directly at the camera in these recordings. It's a weird feeling at first, but when you look at the camera, it looks as if you're, if you're making eye contact with your students as you would in a normal face-to-face -face classroom. The next thing is you want to try to talk to, your, talk to the camera as if they were your students in an online audience. This is different than if you were talking to people in an in-person situation, so try to think about it ahead of time and how you'd like to phrase things to make it work in this scenario. Well, I'm excited to have you come into the Lightboard Studio and get started making your presentations. Oh, just one more thing I forgot to say. When you're coming in, it does matter what color shirt you wear. Try to wear a shirt that is sort of a neutral tone. So this shirt works well because it's not too dark or not too light. If it's too dark, you're going to appear as a floating head um, with the background blurring out your body. And if you have a shirt that's too light, you're going to kind of glow with our studio lights. The last thing is you want to make sure you're not wearing any clothes that have a logo. All these logos are going to be reversed using our system, so everything's, it's not going to make a lot of sense what's on your shirt. Thanks!